Hi everyone, this is Terry from TechniqueTuesday.com, and I'd like to give you a look at our live and plate steel die. When you get these dies, they are connected by little pieces of wire, so you're going to want to use a nipping tool or nippers to cut apart those tools. So you'll probably find nipping tools in your toolbox. If you can't find them, we have some available at TechniqueTuesday.com. So here I'm just going to nip apart those wires. It's just a quick little snip snip. And once I've disconnected those wires, I'll have a couple different dies. So you'll see there's the license plate, then there's the phrase, you are great, and then there's two little nuts that you can use to decorate the frame. Now, you may want to break apart those little nuts. I left them together because they're very small dies, and I wanted to lessen my chances of losing them. So let me show you how these dies look when they're die cut. So this here is the frame. Now I've actually cut it twice so you can see it in different colors. So there's the frame, the license plate frame in black, and then I've also cut the license plate in white. So that's the middle part of the license plate you'll see. In addition, there are the two nuts. So one's kind of got a little hexagon shape going on. And then the other one is a circle. Now, one of the cool things about this die is you can die cut that phrase, you are great, and use those letters on their own. Or you can actually cut them into the license plate. Let me show you how that works. Here I've taken the license plate, and then I've set the you are great phrase on top of it, facing down. Now, if you're worried about that die moving around when you die cut, you may want to use a little washi tape to hold it in place. I'm just going to throw caution in the wind and not use any this time. Now, I'm just going to run it through my die cutting machine. And when it comes out, I've ended up with something like this. So, here's the frame, and then there's that phrase, you are great, cut into it. Now, if you're super particular, you may want the inside of the R's as well as the A. So just save those little pieces. I'm not super fussy about that, so I've just thrown them out. So what I've done now is I've cut a second license plate, a green one, and I've matted this You Are Great phrase on top of it. I think that looks really cool. Now, just for kicks, let me show you how the die looks when it's assembled. So there is the you are great phrase I cut earlier, the license plate, and then there's the frame added to it. And then I've taken those two little nuts and I've adhered them onto the frame. Now, when you put together the license plate, you may want to use just the hexagon or you may want to use just the circle. So you'll cut multiple shapes, whatever you prefer. In this case, I just wanted to show you what each of them looks like on the frame. One of the cool things about this die is it's small enough that it fits onto a journaling card or a story card. So here I've pre-cut a story card base using the story card steel dies from Technique Tuesday, and I've set my license plate onto it. This will look really great in a horizontal pocket on a, in a pocket page or on a traditional scrapbook page. Not a fan of the horizontal look? Well, guess what? You can also use this die vertically. So here I flipped my story card over so it's vertical. And then I flipped the license plate so it's vertical as well. So you'll see it fits nicely right across that story card. Now that I've showed you how the die looks, let me show you a few additional projects made with it. So these license plate frames were created using the steel die. The bottom one, You Are Great, uses everything you see, but rather than cutting out the letters out of the frame, I adhered the die cut letters onto the license plate. The top one uses the word hello from the hello pocket steel dies. You'll see I also filled the holes on that card 
with some brad. I think that look is just kind of fun. It gives it a little extra dimension. And now, friends, so you're not limited to just using the dies. We've also designed two stamp sets that work with these dies. They are the Rockstar stamp set as well as the license plate alphabet. So check out this story card. This is the You Are Cool story card. For this story card, we've stamped the license plate over and over onto a story card base, and then we've stamped some phrases from the stamp set into the license plate portion, and we've also stamped some smaller phrases onto that middle frame. And here's another story card that we use the stamps on. This is the hug story card. For this story card, we stamped the license plate using the rock star stamp set, and then we stamped a small phrase onto that license plate frame. In addition, we created our own word, hugs, using the license plate alphabet. One of the cool things about the license plate dies, as well as the Rockstar stamp set and the license plate alphabet, is that you can mix and match these products to your heart's content. The possibilities are really endless. For more great ideas using these products, check out our idea gallery at TechniqueTuesday.com.